Hi, uh, welcome to Two Facet Podcast, uh, the podcast when we talk about building digital products. I'm Matt Mikulski, product manager. I'm with my co-host. I'm Hunkal, product designer. Yeah, and today we se- we met for second part of a session where we are going through shaping. Yeah. Um, we recommend you seeing the previous episode when we re- uh, spend a lot of time narrowing the problem mm-hmm. and explaining, giving introduction. Uh, but just for short context, um, you may know we very like the shape up method from Basecamp, and in this series of the videos, we are trying to show real life how we would solve the problem with an actual problem that we have to solve for our project. Um, in today's episode, we, we already um, Hunkal. Let's go for the video. Hunkal is our yes. video manager today there you on go. the screen. So let's have a quick look to what we did the other day. So yeah. the, on the last episode, we were discussing the situation of what we know. Yeah. Uh, and then we also worked on the problem definition. And this one is the problem definition we end up with. How might we help the analyzer evaluate impact versus popularity of an idea or problem? Yeah. And, and actually this kind of summary, but more in detail, it's, it's very normal, no? Because it is true that sometimes for what we know and problem definition, one session, you spend like 40, 45 minutes, one hour doing yeah. it. So then the next day you, you start with, it's good to review everything, what exactly. we did, and then we... Sometimes, you know, when you sleep over it, you're going to have new ideas and things like this. Mm-hmm. In mm-hmm. our case, it's a magic of cinema, so it's the same day. <laughs> um, so we didn't slept over it, uh, but we gave ourselves a f- few minutes of a break, so we are fresher. Yes. So today we will be working around appetite, boundaries, and we'll be playing a, a, a bit with With solutions. the solutions, yes, exactly. Yeah. So the appetite is super important uh, before start thinking about solutions, yeah. because it will define if you can think about big solutions or quick smaller yeah. ones so right? basically it's like how much time do you want to invest into this um, exactly we have a tip in our template that it's like what amount of time and people is reasonable to spend in this solution considering the possible impact it may guide you to like how much time it will take and how much we should put there you should be thinking still how much you want to uh, invest but in mm-hmm. this case you're investing people time basically yes so you need to consider impact of, of this one um, originally, the method was invented in super similar scenario to us, so we are not super well funded yet. Um, so we have limited resources and time. No, so it's a side project. So we need to count in that during the three weeks, let's say, of a, of a batch, we'll have only limited time to to deliver uh, value. So we need to think when comparing ideas or problems. It's like we need to think about this appetite and how yes. much do we want to invest into this. Exactly. So, okay. my co-founder, tell me how much, <laughs> like how much of the appetite we have. So for me, it's important problem. Um, it, it, I, in that I agree. In yeah, that I agree. But it doesn't sound sound like a technically complicated issue. Yeah. So I believe our tech team, hello tech team, <laughs> um, could handle that in three weeks. So a small size of a batch. Mm-hmm. Um, depending on the solution or idea for a solution we're going to have, we can make it super complicated in the UI and then it's going to take us years or we can just do it easy, but I don't know. Uh, but I don't believe it should be more than three weeks. No, like I believe it's a problem worth solving, mm-hmm. but I'm not sure if the impact is going to be huge, like to be spending six stage. weeks, yeah. right? No, not at this stage, right? Whereas we could do two smaller ones of six weeks with the same time and maybe the, the yeah. impact will be better. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so I would try to, you know, cut some of the nice to have some things like they will be amazing when we will go to close customer X mm-hmm. and focus more on the core or anything that we are truly focused that, hey, this is this is the core value and everything out just because, as you said, no, maybe it's better for us now to s- try to squeeze into smaller ones. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have a small batch yeah. of uh, three weeks. Yeah, so we'll go with right. the book, book definition. So small one is three weeks. Perfect. We okay. have it. Awesome. Um, um, so the other thing that you should be doing while thinking about shaping is setting the boundaries. So from the person that's going to be later writing a pitch, um, it is important to say what's in, what's out, and what's nice to have. So the team that's going to be working on it can understand 
what are the boundaries of the solution they're building so yes. it's like you you will not be the classic one is like shall we do it in our mobile app also and it's yes. like you should make it upfront decision so the team does not need to think about it okay so now let's spend time thinking is it inside the, inside the scope or outside the scope so yes anything that you know or believe should land in any of those categories please state them up front mm -hmm. um, usually you feel it in during the shaping session I mean you have some ideas on top but then you know while talking you you fill in the gaps yes so as you were saying this is important because the output of this session it's going to be a super high level solution and then the team is going to enter into details so they need to know up up to where no yeah. how much detail and the boundaries in the template, they kind of look a bit like they are before, but a lot of times you start thinking about the ideas and then while discussing, you see yeah. that, okay, we're not going to do this. And then you put, you move it up and then you go to boundaries and then back to solution and yeah. just like that. Okay. So we've been cheating a bit and we talked with Hunkal a few minutes. Um, <laughs> so we have some boundaries already now. So once, one thing that I would start what is out is in our case, we don't have sophisticated reporting in a product yet. Mm -hmm. It seems that since we are working with Analyzer, it would be, hey, um, it would be super nice to help them and provide them now some reports, no? to show them the value that we are trying to deliver. But I would say totally out from, from the scope, reporting for us could be like a separate feature. So yes. I would not focus on how we later present all of the results of the votings to the analyzer. Mm -hmm, it's it's mm -hmm. more for them to gather. And then do we have another boundary in this topic that we were discussing that at this stage we want to focus on the user persona of the analyzer and not of the contributor? So I would say contributor being efficient. We, we type something like efficient. Okay, It's yes. nice to have. Maybe it's not out. Okay. But it's nice to have. So it's like if we need to focus majority of the solution on the contributor side, then let's just, yeah. you know, do it less efficient for them then. Oh. Yes. So if it's going to be just one or two big buttons, but they would say I want one, okay, let's go for two buttons if they're going to be easier. No? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect. So that, that's one thing that comes to my mind. What else did, did we wrote there? Ah, it, it's out maybe uh, trying to fix the voting momentum problem that we may have, right? Yeah. Although it's not in the problem definition, so maybe it's not necessary to to specify. But I would say it's at least nice to have. I would say it's either in or nice to have. I would not say it's out. So for me, it's important. Okay. So if you want to, getting back to our problem definition, yes. uh, which is uh, analyze impact of popularity versus idea problem, your uh -huh. voting momentum somehow plays into the popularity of it yes which may be good or bad okay i was thinking in these solutions that we mentioned of somehow blocking the user for voting too much mm -hmm. or helping them think twice okay this one you would not think it's out no ah, for me it was more solutions like let's count let's remove the number of votes when you when you're the contributor so you don't see okay and then your voting okay. momentum disappears mm-hmm mm -hmm. So maybe it's more towards details of the solution that will contribute to that yeah. more than a big part of the solution would yeah, be yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. I get you. So then nice to have is helping the efficiency of the contributor and also uh, e isening. I don't know if the spelling is <laughs> right. <laughs> the voting momentum, no? Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's go to solution and because I. I have some sentences but they're super connected to solution in my mind so okay. let's maybe jump into the possible solutions and we can um fill in whenever we we, we believe anything is is nice okay. okay so for me the most brutal idea um or possible solution is just having two buttons it would be like you know maybe not the prettiest ui but next to the idea you would have two buttons let's say mm -hmm. so this would be my one and then when you click on them we could have just different forms, no? So if it's just, I like this, we congratulate you and fine. Or you click on customer and then we have a form about like who the hell the customer is. Okay. Can we put, because you said two buttons and it's not going to be pretty. Maybe the designer can think about something that is more pretty than two buttons. So maybe can we put two triggers, yeah, yeah. something like okay. that, no? Yeah, yeah, two different triggers. 
uh, to triggers, and then you were saying each one uh, opens a different opens a different form, yeah. Opens a different form, or one opens a form and the other one doesn't, no? Maybe the other one doesn't, or just make shows you the success something, yeah. But yeah, in, in, the, in here one would be opening a form for adding a signal, and then the other one okay. makes an upvote, let's say. Popped in my mind when we were talking about the problems was something like uh, conversational UI. Um, conversation flow. So you click, one is click on vote, two. Uh, what do you want to vote, kind of, no? Or? type of vote or even like you click on vote right mm -hmm. and it's like do you want to add customer to your vote mm, i like this and then congrats slash any additional info you want okay i like it when you were saying it i was imagining it would be more like click on vote and then it's like, in behalf of whom <laughs> you want to vote, no? Yeah. And then you have me or the client. Yeah, yeah, but this is a bit different. I mean, I would say those are similar but different solutions. Mm -hmm. So in, in mine, what I assume is like, you already did the vote. So you click on vote and it's like, we by default count it as a vote. So there is no signal. and. Since you already added the vote, we ask like, hey, do you want to add the customer here? And once you add the customer, we say, ah, this is signal. Okay. If you don't, you just click no. Okay, thank you. Your vote is saved. And then we know, okay, so there's no customer attached to it. So it just, and, and here it's like, you need to make a decision. You need to make a so decision. There's no magic there. So if, in my solution, the, f the second step is magic. I, from yeah. Yours. Yeah. So. The second step is magic, which is good because mm -hmm. it's like less clicks. I'm not super sure. Maybe we would need to visualize it and mm -hmm. test it or something. I'm not super sure if the user would be confident because with just one click, you don't know what's going yeah. to happen next. You don't know. You know, yeah. it's like up until the second step, you don't make the, the decision. But still, I like it as well. So I, I don't know. Um, okay. So, yeah. so just for us, I will make it a bit more detailed. We can vote vote already solved uh, saved exactly and then, then the vote is saved no and, and and then we ask like do you want to add your that the customer for this vote huh but if you go okay let me make a slight a slight yeah, uh, yeah. change on this one so if you go like a combination of both would be you click on the vote your vote is safe and then instead of this is like is this vote on your behalf yeah but what if they close the model do you save this vote or you don't? Ah, uh, okay, but why would you, okay. You know, it's a model, so yeah. you can just close the tab, that's all. It's just, thank you. Uh, my mother's momentum. So it's like my mother's using phone, pop-up shows, and she's like, well, try that quick, click. And it's <laughs> like, read it out loud, blah, blah, blah. Ah, I know now, uh, I okay. should click B. So what should I click? And it's like, mom, you just said you should click B. Can you click B now? <laughs> And uh, or it's like just fast, no? So it's like I click, fine, save. I don't care anymore. Just click. You have any confirmation that thing happened? You don't read the text, like mm -hmm, no, mm -hmm, please, mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thank you. Bye, bye. So uh, okay. But, now but let this me is let also me ask you something. Part of my solution. So let me ask you something. Yeah. Aren't we getting too much into detail of a solution? Probably. So is it possible that we can solve the high level and then let the team decide on the details of yeah. the flow? Yeah, yeah. True, no? true, 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 probably. So let's maybe delete the uh, middle and those two we can merge into just the conversation. Flow. Yeah, something more like um, high level solution, no? Like you click on a vote, then the user somehow needs to indicate if it's needed, that it's, uh, that it's for a customer. We get info if the vote exactly, I like that. is for customer or opinion. And the additional info because we have ability to gather additional info and then the flow mm -hmm. is fine. Okay. Okay, so one is conversation flow, the other one is triggering this. 
Um, do we have other other ideas? Okay. So we change nothing. We just do everything in the backend. So it's a backend way. So. Ah, if there is link. Yeah. And if, if there's no link. There is link and it's valid. Let's say we can imagine okay. some validation if it's real link to CRM of your choice. No. Um, then it's for a customer. Okay. If there is no link. It's opinion. It's opinion. Okay. And then it's just a matter of providing the information to the user, right? The user votes and it's like... Oh, actually, so those are just first part of our possible solution. We need to think about them. So this is how you would add the info, but yes. we're not thinking about how you will see the info. Yes, analyzer. we need to do that one as well. We, we yeah. need both. We need both. Yeah. But those are the three solutions I have in mind when, when it comes now. I think so, yeah. I'm not sure if there's anything more. So let's think about the analyzer. Yes. And maybe we'll, it's going to show us what should we, to which of those flows we want to connect, really. No? Okay. You know, right. okay. We will not be upvoting, but we want to see this display creation date of a signal. Okay. And let tell me, is this test from real customer or is it not? I would like to know this. Okay. And now I know two. So is it to customers, to what? Okay, but if we're talking about popularity versus impact, one of them would be the combination of both. Yeah. One would be the popularity. So we could, yeah. for instance, I, I was imagining this one here would be the, the popularity, so the combination of both. So actually, l let me keep typing down. Um, so one thing that I would do here is then analyze, like. Yeah. Uh, first scenario, it's like order by popularity. Uh huh. Exactly. Or impact. So one thing that. Ooh. Is okay. So for the filters here, no? no. But this will impact filters uh, because uh -huh. right now we have most signals, and it's yes. not about signals. It's about what kind of signals do you have? So do you yes. have signals about popularity? So those are customer and not customer signals, mm -hmm. or it's about the impact so yes the customer connected signals right okay okay i like this so depending on what you're looking at the stage you can organize them differently exactly no mm. imagine from our perspective i know about some that are popular but we don't have customers connected to them yet so i would say oh for this one let's go for research and gather like 10 interviews just to prove it and we can go with it no? okay for this thing we would need to have the detail then so one thing is I want to filter depending on one yeah. or the other. And then another one is I want to see the detail, no? Um, Let's see the detail of the, of what? Impact versus popularity. Of the popularity, no? Because popularity is a combination of both, we said. Yeah. Actually, we already, de we are designing this concept, no? Of popularity yeah. is combination of both. And impact, it's only feedbacks from users. Yeah. Okay. Popularity is combination of both. Let me follow you because I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm typing it here. Uh, okay. Probably we can later move it to rabbit holes or things like this, but I will just, just to have it. And impact is signals connected to customer. That comes to mind. Yeah. When we will have integrations with other tools, like mm -hmm. if we are integrated with a type form that a customer types in yeah. and everything, they will count as feedbacks, no? So yes, okay. And customer connected, no, because yeah, I mean it, they would uh, fall under the group of the customer connected yeah, yeah. ones. So, so those would be impact because mm -hmm. they're coming from some customer, no. Directly. And actually here, um, impacted users, um, I would say. Um, impacted users, signals connected to customer. Are customers. counted from. Uh, so the thing is signals so again one customer mm -hmm. i don't see any problem for him or her calling your customer success filling in type form and then sending an email and then landing us three different signals and we don't want to count him then as three signals in terms of impact it's one guy that sends you three signals so in terms of popularity it's three in terms of impacted users it's one okay okay i see so it's unique users 
or you need customers contacts however right now home, yes yeah. i mean i guess right now this stage is a matter of for the customer success person gathering it to try to have it split it no yeah. No, no, but I'm thinking like if, for if us. If it's the client, yeah, okay. Yeah, for, for us, when we would like to mm. show this information somewhere, I do believe logic should be we are measuring impact in impacted users, not yes. signals with customer link, but customers that are connected to those signals with customer link. So unique mm -hmm. count of customers. And then for popularity, it's like, yeah, how many signals in total we have connected to given thing. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Yeah, I Makes think sense. so. I okay. think so. Yeah. We'll, we'll rephrase it. So absolutely no worries. Just typing it for myself, really, when we will be counting it. Okay, so uh, let's go down and back to our analyze scenario. So we want to be able to order by popularity mm -hmm. or impact. I want to see the details of the impact, right? Of so the popularity, because that's the, the one has a that it's a combination of both. Yeah. Popularity or impact? Popularity. Or both. Maybe, maybe, or don't you want to see impact, like details of both? But if popularity is a combination, ah, I was I was imagining if I have a total number, which is popularity, uh -huh. I want to see the detail, how many. Ah, okay. Is so which one? How no, many like the impacted users. And and how, yeah, but of course you're right. If detail is more details, like yeah. the actual text, who sent it when, then yes, I want to see detail of both. No. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So. Uh, I will to end our popularity because can we switch to our product again for yes. a second? So here we have signals, right? Yes. To and then signals, the question to inside inside the details. So the, the question is, what would be will would we be going more towards filtering here? Here. Yeah. So show me signals that are impact. No, I was thinking something like imagine we have uh, two mm -hmm. feedbacks from users like here we have two signals plus one uh, person in the company likes this idea and they click on vote so I was imagining to have a three here mm -hmm. so popularity three and then when you go here you have popularity three equals two signals plus one vote from a company and then you see the the detail no you oh, can okay. have the signals here plus the votes so you see oh, okay. how many of which one makes sense yeah yeah or, or not, we will or not see but, later, but yeah, but yeah, yeah this yeah. is how I was imagining mm -hmm. it, no? I see the total here and then I yeah. see the split inside. For the, uh, for the watching ones, um, what's happening right now, uh, just to give like, you know, break the fourth wall, um, it is normal that you're zooming in, zooming out during the session. Yes, no? So yes. you're thinking about the solution and then you're, yeah, we are thinking too much about the solution, but sometimes it's just to visualize now for five minutes to understand the, yes. what we are talking about. Yes. Okay, so um, let's go to shaping. Uh, I want to see the detail of the impact and our popularity. Okay. Mm, or Pretty the idea. But it's both, no? How is is the breakdown? The bre I want to see the breakdown and ah, I want to yeah. see the detail, no? Yeah, I want to that see was the what I meant. I want to see the breakdown and I want to see the detail. Yeah. Okay. I'm always thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Everything so, is solved with a filter here. Yeah, no? yeah. So our visualization contains only two signals, and they're paginated. But we saw already um, ideas that have two hundred signals connected to each other. Yes, them, yes. And they're paginated. Yes. Paginated. Yes. So basically, if you would go to such idea, you would tell you you have twenty six votes, uh -huh. one hundred sixty impacted users, and then you need to go through. 200 of them manually to be able to find the ones that are from impacted users. Ah, no, because I was... Okay, let me quick, super quickly yeah, draw yeah. here. Let's draw. We are all about drawing. Uh, okay. So this sidebar here is the filters. Yeah. Oh my God, with the trackpad, it's going to be bad. This sidebar here is the previews, uh -huh. right? The cards. And then here we have the detail, no? Yeah. So we are working on this one card. And here on the right, it's the detail. So uh, you have details of the idea here. And imagine you have here, uh, which ones are signals, as tabs. Oh my God, this is huge. You have signals and you have um, votes from employees, whatever we call it. Mm -hmm. So if these are tabs, you can just switch from one to the other, no? Ah, uh, yeah, but... You were not... How about if I want to know the total? Ah, the total, you have it here. Like, 
total popularity um, 20 no and then here and then you uh, have and we could have like counters in like 10 signals and, and 10 employees something like that yeah. I mean it doesn't have to be tabs but I was thinking to show a total and then you are able to go through the breakdown somehow and then this 20 you have it also here I don't see you very convinced no I'm thinking now I would also add the f can we add emojis in Figma can you add fire emoji or a sticker there yes we can let's add fire there just to so one thing that we should keep in mind um, good that we are recording a uh, fire next to 20 in the okay. cards so for someone to be able to see the scale then so right now it's called votes so when you look at it and you see 20 it's like 20 people clicked and it's amazing no uh -huh. but now we'll say it's popularity which is yes you should not make a decision 20 does not mean good or bad um okay does it mean that it would be a good idea to show the breakdown in here as well? No, I, I mean, I would actually use like a fire emoji on... Ah, okay, sorry, now I get you. Game, you know? <laughs> okay, so it's super clear it's popularity it's and, and it's not... It's super on fire or it's snow because it has like popularity index zero. It just some advanced filters came to my mind. Yeah, of course. Like <laughs> we were thinking about that, and maybe people want to filter for um, for ideas that have more signals than votes or more votes than signals. I don't know. Maybe this is totally useless for the problem. I don't know. It just came to Let's to my mind. It. So our problem is as a product manager. I know we phrase it differently, but let's play with uh, another <laughs> another phrase this time. So as a product manager, I want to analyze the impact of the ideas, right? So first I need to be able to find the ideas that are impactful or popular. Uh -huh. I will be able to order by popularity or impact. Shall I be able to filter out some? So will I be interested in middle scale of the popularity of my feedbacks? I don't believe so. Middle scale of the popularity. So it's like, let's say I say, I want the most popular feedbacks for Brazil and I will get limited list of those uh -huh, things, right? yes. or ideas um, in our case 10 let's say it's 10 so what I would do naturally would be okay so I'm going from up, up no so this is the most popular mm -hmm. and worst case scenario I will say like oh this is too complicated I'm not interested I'm gonna move to the next one is there a use case in which I would say but I want to see only the middle of it so I'm not caring about the most popular, the least popular, mm. I want middle, let's say. Then you need a filter to show me them in popularity between 20 and 30. Ah, I see. Okay. But do we need it? I mean, yeah. I mean for the problem definition, it's not there. So because the problem definition is just to okay. analyze one or the other. So what's out? I will add new line. Um, Let me follow you. Where are you? Advanced filter. Here for popularity ranges yes because i see what you mean like i want between 20 and 45 yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so we don't want votes. to filter by popularity we want to be able to order for now i would say that filtering is out because it's like Im we would need to imagine mm -hmm. but i like our popularity idea here <laughs> So let's let's keep this visual next to this. Um, okay. Okay. So here we would be able to see some breakdown, right? Yes. I mean, I put tabs here. Maybe we should mm -hmm. we should not put uh, tabs, but. But well, let's keep visualization for now. We will be worried about the solution later. Okay. Um, but the point. Let me just super quickly go back to the problem definition. How might yeah. we help the analyzer evaluate impact versus popularity of an idea or problem? Okay, so we have the filter of most popular. Yeah. Or the by popularity. But they will not see the most impactful ones. Ah, if we have both, order by popularity or impact, so we can have the ones with a bigger sum up of both votes and feedbacks, and the ones with more feedbacks. Right now, with the current filters, they won't have a filter for the ones with more votes. So maybe we can just have the three of them, three filters. One for the most popular, which is combination of both. One for the most feedbacks, which is the most impact. And one with with the most votes from people Operations working in the... Or non, yeah. non customers, yeah. So then... It could be... 
Do we have a use case? No, that's the Do question. we have a use case for it? That's one thing. And then the second thing is on our super visualization here, we still show popularity U as a number. Yeah, we should change so this. So then yeah. we would need to be smart about changing this number. If you feel if you order by impact, we should show you if your impact or popularity. But it's actually when you read again, it's like we want them to be able to assess popularity versus impact. So maybe the most popular are not the most impactful. And from this solution, you cannot say that other than going through five yes. most popular and then assessing their impact. Huh, you're right. How about we have to evaluate impact versus popularity of an idea? How would you do it as a product manager? How would you evaluate the impact versus the popularity? I would put in Excel spreadsheet two numbers. Okay. And then what? <laughs> Would you, would you go like one by one? Would you order? Yeah, like? I would probably try to order by both, no? Mm -hmm. So it's get me first the most popular with most impact. Okay. The most popular with the most impact. Yes, yes. Because this is the long hanging fruit for you, no? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So maybe that's the filters we need. Can we do popular? Can we maybe filters? But one thing here, um, I will be adding stuff here go where do you do how do you um, what do you need i need face i will put face here oh i have a face amazing even multiple faces <laughs> Better. Um, let's say those would be real faces ah i like it we don't need the three numbers these two numbers is, are telling us already everything no yeah, yeah and then we need to think about like information architecture here yeah, when we would go to the more final breadboarding to put mm -hmm. in the pitch, I would try to re reduce the um, the level of detail maybe of the UI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Probably. yeah. But just for for, for But now, for us for to think it's super good. It's actually what we are doing right now is a bit of like breadboarding mixed with ma fat market sketches, which is gonna be yes. next session. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you can have a spoilers already here um, of, of w what we are planning to do or what we will be doing next. So here we would have this most popular or most impactful, right? So this is the order. Maybe we should most popular or most impact impact impactful, right? And then, and then it actually makes sense to keep this filter. But then you were saying I, I would I would do the most popular with the biggest amount of feedbacks inside. Yeah. So amongst the most popular, which ones are the most impactful? Yeah. OK, so since we are great at doing UI already, <laughs> um, let me break this UI um, a bit. So right now, our ordering is actually done by radio buttons, no? Yes. And this is what creates us a problem right now because it's yes. either. So yes. we need to have all of the options for possible ordering to mm. your user to make mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. Can we do something like this? Um, I'm going to be drawing pluses everywhere. I don't know. I am obsessed with having plus <laughs> next to action. Um, order by. And then uh, could we do this somehow like you do in SQL? So it's order by and we make the user to mm. feel to choose the fields. So it's order by and then, oh, yeah, exactly. That's the checkbox, no? Let's say checkbox. Yeah, yeah, it could be either in here or you click order and we open the model, whatever, no? But let's ah, say okay, okay, it okay. would be something like checkboxes. Order, would, order of checking them would be important. Yeah. Because if you order by one, then you take that order and apply the other one and mm -hmm. it may be different. No? I'm thinking, I, I super like this. Mm -hmm. I see there's a challenge on how to visualize it. Because if you don't have this technical mindset, as you said, SQL, maybe hard this thing of this second includes the first one and yeah. these kind of things, no? Maybe, but give me a second. Are you, oh, are you looking for a reference, no? I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a, uh, for a reference, yeah, for a benchmark for us right now. Trying to find like a UI that could, could work for us. Um, but I fail. 
Can can the checkbox be nested and stuff? Yeah, yeah, everything can be nested. So here I would not worry about this 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 uh, this, this detail, part. no. Yeah, yeah. But the the concept is that the filter should be nested somehow. Yeah. Nested or even I mean, if you go to the details of the solution, one possible solution would be that you have the options described. Yeah. Give me the most popular with the most impact, yeah. the most impactful with X now, so uh, you have them already yeah, exactly. pre-done. Yeah. And this would be the radio solution, let's say, no? Yes, because yes. then we are trying to guess them. What, what I was going more was like trying to give the user the properties uh, yeah. and then choose the order, basically. So if you want to order most popular and most impactful, maybe this is the way. This is end. Okay. We are doing end connection here. So okay. it's like, show me most will be drawing this line <laughs> show uh, show me most popular ideas right mm -hmm. so let's say I will be changing your checkboxes sorry yeah go for it but I don't know how to remove all of them so can you <laughs> do it on the mask <laughs> and yes. I will do something else. No, because, well, the problem is that the background is not locked. No, okay. No. So, uh, please forgive us. Um, we will, you will f live with the checkboxes. Um, everybody that's watching what we are trying to do in Figma right now. Okay. Um, we are back in the game. So, we selected the first thing to... Why cannot I move this element? Can you move it? That was weird that you're gonna yeah. do. Can okay. you move it up to the popular next to the popular idea? So my UI skills are super shit. Um, but what I would do here is like I cannot type in it. Okay, let's and this should not be really UI, no. Mhm. Mm but basically, you say show me most popular idea and then you click end most impact uh, impactful ones within that okay one. No, we would need to or and copy. most voted yeah, in yeah. case you want to see this uh, voting yeah, exactly. momentum whatever and this is how you build it up no okay and in this case it would be an okay most impacted or most impactful actually no Oh, this makes sense. Popular idea and most impactful or and most voted. Yeah, yeah. And then you can evaluate. Exactly. And then for us, technically, it's just filtering in different directions. But for the user, it's like you have one that we can say it's the popularity, let's say. This is the or whatever mm -hmm, we mm -hmm, choose as mm -hmm. a company. And then we just allow them to make it more or less complicated. Okay. It will require a lot of UI here to yes. add, remove and stuff like this. But it's also flexibility. So if we're going towards, you know, going more analyzing, mm -hmm, this, mm -hmm. this could be that. But what we could do, yeah. it's somehow present this. So we try to remove the idea that it must be in the sidebar. Yeah. Because if it's an advanced filter, maybe the designer and the team wants to make like a model yeah. with enough room to explain and to configure yeah. the filter. And then you just close it, no? Okay. So if we go back to boundaries. Uh, we said the advanced filter for popularity ranges is out, uh, but I would say advanced ordering is in. Is yes. In. Yeah. So filtering maybe later, but the way for you to be able to sort it and re recreate the Excel spreadsheet. So yes. sort by this and this. Yes. Because I would do just this. Now, if I would have it into columns, I would mm -hmm. say filter everything and then order by this column and then that column in that in order. that order yeah. okay and this does not give us the possibility to compare the results but is it enough at this stage i would say you can compare no you will have on top the most pop like if we scroll down um to our super visualization you will be able now so you will have different ideas with different popularity index mm -hmm, and different mm -hmm. customer impacted mm -hmm. so you will be able to compare the 10 that are on one page, like the first okay. one to the third one, you will have two numbers that you can compare without even going to the details. And then in details, as we saw, mm -hmm. you would have different 
bits and pieces. I was thinking that you cannot compare the result of if you go and most impactful or mm -hmm. the result if you go and most voted. But I don't know if this is if this is useful, you know. So kind of I want to see from the most popular, the mm -hmm. ones that are most popular because they are uh, yeah. more impactful or more, more more voted. Like the results. Yeah, but then you do t two filters and you compare the two different results. You see right? one result and then you go to the filter and that's enough. You don't need uh, to see uh, both I of them at the same so, time. No. Because okay. in Excel you wouldn't be too okay you would need to change the order to see the different result okay and we can consider that excel is covering the needs pretty so, well yeah, so. Yeah, so so i would say it could be good mvp for us okay um let's keep it here i, I mean i would remove it a bit for the breadboarding so we are more about like I want to do the action of sorting what buttons yes. will I need here. Yeah. But for this discussion for four possible solutions, uh, actually yes. it starts working for me. So like analyze, it. we have it. Um, which one do we go for gathering? Mm, okay, we have the two buttons and then we have the conversation flow. So for me, the first two are, the difference is where is the friction point? So. Does the, need, the user need to think before clicking the button or after clicking the button? This is my question as well. So That's which one do we want more? I don't know. I don't feel confident. Like I see pros and cons in both of them. Mm, if we want efficiency, probably second one is more efficient. So having one button, right? Having one button. I Well, not that much sure. Making the decision before doesn't make you less efficient. True. But then will we be able to generate buttons that will be understood? Understood, no? I mean... Okay. Okay, maybe the second like one is... I it's going to be okay. at some moment times up and then customer going to be what dollar, I mean... Okay. How universal it can be when it comes to the UI. Will we make them think? Okay. And at this stage, do you think it's good uh, to have this decision? Or is it like... Hmm, I don't know. I mean, you probably know already. So, spoilers. The user, the user? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. the so user we knows already. They, yeah. when, once they enter, they already know what they want to do. So it's either I just talk with the customer and I have idea in mind, so I'm going to add the signal. Maybe there is already idea, mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm, I'm going to upload. It's like, <coughs> I heard somebody is thinking about it, and I believe it's a great idea. I'm going to go and upload for it. Okay. So they know if they're doing customer or their own. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah. Now that you describe it, maybe it's better to go to the one button conversational. Mm -hmm. No, you know, okay. I know what I want to upvote. And then maybe the decision of exactly how to make the user indicate which one is the vote. Yeah. We can <laughs> leave it to the team. Yeah. If it's more like. Or we can play around it with the breadboarding. No? OK, OK. Um, shall we go for a backend way? I would try to skip it. So I would say. I like this is the like I want the most. Yeah. You like the most? Yes. The backend way. Mm -hmm. I would skip it actually. Oh, okay. I would use it only for our legacy data. So I would tr go through all of the signals and apply the backend way to everything that we have. Okay. For, but for the new ones, I would try at least for the next sessions to. Uh, Add this uh, part about blaming or something like this. I don't know. I don't remember how I. Yeah, to make the. It. How might we reduce the voting momentum? Okay. Okay, so maybe we're thinking about the backend way differently. So for me, the backend way um, just makes everything super easy. So it's like when I click, I click and it's counted and everything's great. And I still don't care as a user what I just did, no? Like sometimes maybe I will read what this form is about and oh, customer, I can post customer here uh, while making it a choice, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's more like putting pressure on the user. I know it's bad usually, but it's like, okay, Hunka, think for a second, what the hell are you doing? Uh, voting for myself, okay, great, let's go. Or you, I, I really want to add this customer here because I can. Okay. So. Or maybe a uh, different way around. So if every field in the form going to be optional, you're going to have much more empty fields, uh, empty forms. Yes, right? yes. Because it's like, even if I have a customer, it's copying or whatever. So it's just like, click it, it's uploaded. Let's go away from it. And in okay. this conversational, we could have more ways of 
pushing you to add this customer. Um, oh, I see. With because... this one, basically the only way is making the link required and then they will be hacking. So as is how good are we in backend, trying to match it with customer and guessing for you okay. the magic. For me in my head, the backend way was more like, okay, you click and then you vote and then you get a model that explains, hey, if this vote was for a customer, you can put the link in here. Ah, okay. So it's like the user that doesn't need to intentionally put, yes, this is for a customer, but by the fact that they are pasting the link, we are considering that it's for a customer. And if not, the, we could st re still re-ask it in a, in, yeah. a, in a model. This is how yeah. I understand it. But now that you were saying about the voting momentum, maybe I like the fact that it's very clear and they need to make a choice. So we can, the user can vote. Um, so I was thinking now the user can vote mm -hmm. and then the vote is done and then we show to the user very clearly in the result that it is for them and then if they want to make it for the customer they need to actually click somewhere no yeah. to make an action and not only paste a link yeah this actually was your first idea I think. Yeah, 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 the very yeah, first yeah, one yeah, you yeah, wanted yeah. okay yeah, true. yeah so let's go for okay this one. let's go for this one so it's the click on vote we get info if the vote is for customer opinion and if we need any additional and then it's congrats okay and in this case we wanted uh we want to not to yeah to force a, to bit, force a bit to force the user to be clear on their choice yeah. which just s solution thinking i was imagining you have two options kind of radio yeah. and one is marked already and then you need to click on the other one yeah. to yeah to put the link where are you i'm in the boundaries now okay. sorry i just added that uh, inside the scope is migrating all data to the uh, new model yes yes so we don't have our customers to receive um new numbers but every old idea gonna be just popular and impacting zero customers we mm -hmm. should use this backend way for this retroactively okay. okay so looks like we have our possible solution that we yes. will go for um, spoiler for viewers, it will most probably change on the next session when we start drawing <laughs> with, with a bit more it details. It happens, it happens. It, it may happen that we may fall back to some, some of the other solutions. Uh, but I would close this session here. Yes, Seems I like think we so. We have some good solutions. We have an idea about the uh, boundaries. Yes. We have our appetite. So let's see if we will still feel like this is three weeks idea after this next sessions. Yes. Um, yeah. So yeah. What else will we be doing? So in the next sessions, we will be bread broading. So we will try to draw this solution with as little details as possible to check yes. if it can fly. Really, it a, a lot of times looks like a flow of parts. How do you flow through yeah. parts of the system? Actually, in a book, what they recommend is building this screen and then list of actions actions that are on the screen, and if they're interconnected and there are no empty ends and that the user will click something and that in, in the empty flow. So just checking mm -hmm. if the possible solution we want to build is actually buildable. Or yes, can exist in our system. Ends. We have yeah. information and everything. Exactly. Then, then we will have the fat marker sketches that will look something more like this. Yeah, like so what we did, plus the idea you just showed uh, so as visualization. So yes. This is basically fat market sketching when we'll have the that will so now we have a solution in the next session first we'll try check if this solution can be anyhow fitted into our product mm -hmm. and then we'll probably take the design we just did and yes. add a few more screens to it so we'll have the good uh, base for the team to, to yes. start working with i would even push ourselves to simplify a little bit to yeah. not because sometimes when you see a screen like in this case it looks really very much like a sidebar yeah. but maybe it doesn't have to be in the sidebar so yeah. clean it up a bit so it can open the team to decide where to put where it. to put and, and how it should be is it model sidebar yes or maybe we'll need another element somewhere mm -hmm. exactly yeah and okay. that's it well also we will look at the risks and rabbit holes yeah. at the very True. end to to make sure we we have everything but that's it yeah. so yeah so thank you for this second session thank you um, yeah Thank you for listening and watching us um, and hopefully see you in the third one when we will be doing even more designs. Yes, that's it. See Thank you. Thank you. See Bye. you. Bye.